you know, working on the on the the Last of Us Part Two, obviously was was different, was diverse uh, from the from the first game. Although it continue with the, I would say with the with some of the, the the parameters that we set up in the first game, you know, in terms of the music and the emotional content of it. In the first game, I, I based most of the music in the sound of, of three instruments, a guitar, whether acoustic or electric, uh, the ronroco, and a particular instrument, which is a, a Fender uh, bass that was uh, created in the 60s. I mean, it's an instrument, it's a really uh, special instrument, because today there's a lot of basses that have more than four strings, but uh, the, the, they're basically basses to which they add strings. The Fender 6 is a different beast. It's actually like a guitar that is an octave down. Uh, so it's it's quite different. It was an instrument that was used by the Beatles and it was used by Cream, by Jack Bruce, especially in the first uh, Cream album. It's very different just because it, it feels like a guitar. It sounds almost like a bass, but it has almost like a piano quality. So it was a, 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 a very special instrument from for the first game. In the second edition, in part two, I replaced that instrument with uh, an acoustic guitar, but with a particular set of strings that are only manufactured in Argentina by some friends of mine that have a company called Magma, and they created these strings that are actually an octave lower than the strings of a guitar. And you just use them in a classical uh, guitar, and it's just fantastic, the sound. So it's kind of like that first Fender 6, but acoustic. So that was a, a change. I still kept the, the ronroco and I kept uh, the guitars, but I also brought a, a different timber. I've, uh, aside of, of The Last of Us, I've always been very interested in the banjo, you know? It's a, it's a really very interesting instrument because it has, you know, the, the resonant box. The, the strings, you know, uh, resonate in a box that actually has a skin. You know, the top of the instrument is a, is a skin, it's like a drum. So I always say that it's an instrument that comes with reverb because when you hear the, the instrument uh, because of the, the skin, uh, it just reverberates, really. It's very, very p peculiar, the sound, and I always wanted to, to, to do something with the instrument. And I thought that this could be a great opportunity. I wanted to bring something new to this part two. And I thought that it was an instrument also that is very connected with Americana. You know, this is, you know, being this dystopian America uh, scenario. Uh, I thought, you know, this could be a great opportunity to, to, to give it a shot. I have to say that I had my reservations on how they were gonna take it, you know, how Neil was gonna take it, or the people at uh, Naughty Dog or Sony PlayStation, but they actually embraced the idea. And, and of course, I mean, we're talking about uh, a banjo used perhaps not in a traditional way. I'm not, you know, a, a, a banjo. Uh, I didn't have any tuition you know, to play the banjo. I'm not a banjo player, but that I think, uh, brings something different to the to the to the instrument in a way because my approach is slightly different and I think that's that ended up working uh, in our favor. Uh, so that would be you know I mean some of some of the difference and of course I mean the main difference was the story the introduction of, of new characters, uh, which which somehow you know determined a certain type of things. But I will say that the the spirit of the the, the score. It is totally connected between both games, you know. It is this part of, of the Last of Us world. The process of uh, writing a music for, for a video game is, uh, in my case, is, is similar to the one that I use uh, for movies. I'm not, uh, let's say, uh, the, the typical uh, film composer. Uh, in, in general, in the industry, uh, movies get filmed and then there's, you know, like a rough edit in, in which the director and the editor uh, resort 
to already existing music, perhaps you know, from other movies or from other sources, and uh, they use that to work and, and do you know like a first or second rough edit of the movie, and then the composer is brought in, and uh, at that point the composer finds himself you know trying to chase that temp track and obviously not copying it totally because it would be, you know, a plagiarism uh, and then you, they will get sued, but, you know, so it's... I don't find it that really very artistic, you know, but I find it more almost like doing uh, commercials, you know, missing for commercials. Uh, although, I mean, there's people that do that great and actually they create really original music also, you know, but, but I like to work uh, from the script, from my relationship to the story, the characters, and uh, that's the way I worked in, in films. Uh, so lots of the music that I've done in, uh, for films, it's been uh, composed prior to, to even, you know, the shooting of any uh, footage. Uh, the, the, I mean, the case that is more, more special perhaps is uh, uh, Brokeback Mountain, in which I did the whole score uh, before, you know, one frame was shot. And, uh, you know, Ang Lee sort of, you know, played the music to the actors and he was, you know, uh, very generous and actually in an interview with the LA Times said that he actually built the narrative of the movie uh, with the music. He used the music to actually help create the narrative of the movie and but in I, on the other movies that I've worked on uh, a lot of, of what you find, what ended up in the in the film was composed uh, before actually anything was was being filmed uh, so in that case uh, it's, it's very similar a big difference is the amount of music that you have to create for a video game which is yeah, lots of music lots of hours of music and of course not all the music that you write will end up in the in the game but uh, but it, it's needed you know a tremendous amount of music to we're, we're talking about a game that usually takes people to to complete perhaps 20 24 27 hours uh, and so there's a lot of music I mean some music gets repeated but still you know there's there's there, there's a lot of 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 music.